I'd like to show you some of the features you can have, okay? So just looking through on the screen right now then, uh, you can see that uh, we have the movie in there. When you select the actual item, uh, you'll see that uh, you can actually detach the audio if you want to. Uh, you can just make that completely blank. Uh, we'll go on to audio in a bit more detail in just a second, but you can take that away. You can also duplicate. So you can take that file and duplicate it. There may be a reason why you want to do that. They may not, but, you know, it's there if you need it. But there's also the undo feature there as well. You can click in that on that uh, undo feature just there in the middle on the right-hand side, and it will take the clip or take your last action away. Uh, it's very similar to undo. Um, when you're using your keyboard or if you're doing uh, editing in a Word document, something like that. Moving on then, there's also in the bottom right-hand corner uh, the ability to have different filters. Now, I quite like this one. You can make it oldie-worldie. You can make it into the silent era. You can give it a nice bold colour. You can do all sorts of bits and bobs with this. Uh, it's quite good fun having an edit round in there, so do play with that. Uh, back onto the audio side of things, and this is where you can actually change the volume. Rather than just detaching all the audio, you can change the volume up and down. Uh, if you've got a piece of music on there or a very loud background, remember, Remember, people will probably listen to this with earphones in, so uh, don't have it too loud for them. You can also speed up the uh, clip itself, which is really good fun, uh, because it can make you sound like you're on helium. Equally, you can slow it down, speed it up. And you can see at the top of the clip there, it gives you a time for that length of clip. So speeding it up or slowing it down will change your voice, as you just heard. But you can also see if you need to uh, work out your timings as well, which is really, really fantastic. And my favorite thing, I think, at the end here is showing you how to use text on your screen. Now, I use this sometimes where I've forgotten to say something or, I, you know, after I filmed it, I've realized, actually, I do know the answer. And you can add your text in. I like the text in the bottom left-hand corner, but you can also put end and beginning credits to any film that you make on your phone simply by using this feature here as well. This stuff is really, really versatile and again proves you don't need to be doing this with a sophisticated piece of software. You can get pretty good results by just using your phone.